All right, I'm gonna build the most boss mob in Minecraft. Let me just think, how do I spawn him in again? All right, I think uh, a regular soul sand block here, a soul sand block here, a soul sand block here, and then I think in the middle it's a command block. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be a command block in the middle. Yep, just like that, all right. And then we have three wither skulls, just like this, and it should spawn in, right? <laughs> I've made a terrible mistake! Hello guys! Welcome to Angry Birds Team, and today we are unboxing and building another LEGO Minecraft set. In particular, this is LEGO Minecraft set 21126, aka The Wither. And uh, now, this is one of the smaller LEGO Minecraft sets, but um, I actually think it's a really cool set because not only does it come with a TNT launcher and The Wither itself, which I think is a pretty freaking awesome mob. I mean, it is a boss, so uh, yeah, that is <laughs> but uh, it also comes with a small portion to the nether, and uh, that's very exciting because, you know, more nether the greater, because um, that's going to be actually be a uh, very important uh, setting for um, one of the scenes in Adventures of LEGO Minecraft, so it's good to have more nether, and it's good to have more features like these um, wither skeletons and the wither, of course, so uh, that's pretty awesome, and now let's look at the back of the box before we start unboxing this thing and getting into it, so uh, as you guys can see, um, there is a TNT launcher right here, um, it looks like, so it looks like you can, like, put TNT in this and launch it at either the Wither Skeletons or the, um, Wither itself and knock them over, so that's pretty freaking awesome, and, uh, of course, there's Steve building the Wither, I think, it's either Steve building the Wither or the Wither launching its head at Steve, um, I'm not really sure, but, um, what I do know is that when a Wither naturally actually attacks you, it actually, um, launches Wither Skeletons skeleton skulls that you not um regular wither skulls so that's wrong but um yeah and then of course it shows steve attacking the wither so uh, that's pretty awesome and now let's get this set unboxed all right so um let's see i need my scissors of course because there's tape here so uh let's get this right here open come on Ugh. oh come on there, there we go there we go cut the oops oh did i get it uh all right think <laughs> there we go yeah these straps are kind of small all right let's see what we got inside the box here all right Alright, so we got instruction booklet numero one and uh, bag number blank. <laughs> this is a really small set. Another uh, blank bag. Uh, instruction booklet number two. So uh, this set isn't that. Uh, this set isn't that small. And uh, bag number nothing again, which uh, has some more parts and a giant orange base plate for the lava of the nether and that is it all right so that is all the things that comes in this lego minecraft the wither set and now as you guys know i'm going to build this set in time lapse for you all so here we go in three two one time lapse mode the wither set and before i go more in depth let's take a look at the minifigures so as you can see right here we have steve and iron armor the same steve that we've been getting in pretty much every single lego minecraft set so uh this steve probably will be skinned to look like a different character or player in minecraft for adventure lego minecraft 
and uh, as you can see it comes with a bow and a iron helmet and iron chest plate so uh, yeah that is pretty cool so as you can see this set also came with two wither skeletons which also came with two stone swords that they can wield just like they do in game and also just like they are in game they are noticeably taller than their overworld counterparts so as you can see this is just a regular skeleton and uh, that is a wither skeleton and this guy isn't even straight so uh, now he's straight and as you can see the wither skeleton is a lot taller than the overworld skeleton so uh, that's pretty cool they kept that feature that they have in game and uh, now let's move on to the next mob and last but not least here we have the wither and uh, this is a pretty cool micro mob because it has a lot of awesome details like the skelly thing there and uh, it's little you know three heads on top and one of the heads is bigger that's a pretty cool feature that they have in game and uh, a few facts about the wither boss if you don't know um, the wither boss is the only mob in minecraft that can be spawned in the player in survival mode because all you need to do to summon him in is um, make a T out of soul sand and put three wither skulls on top one of the downsides I guess um, with this figure is that um, is that you can take him off the base but uh, he doesn't really stand up that well on his own so yeah as you can see um, he usually needs to be like attached to something in order to like stand up because this is the wither standing up in his you know, regular wither pose but uh, he can't really do that very well without being attached to something and so uh, here's the base for him which as you can see is just some lava with some little bumps on the bottom and uh, yeah as long as you attach him to that or any other blocks in your Minecraft set then uh, he will be standing upright and now um, look forward to seeing more of the wither in Adventure to Lego Minecraft because uh, he will be in Adventure to Lego Minecraft and he will actually play a pretty significant part so uh, stay tuned for that and now let's look at the set. Alright so now we're back and uh, here is the wither set like I said and um, it's not one of the bigger of the Minecraft sets it's actually a pretty small set yet I am still very happy to have this in the Lego Minecraft collection because one it gives us more of the nether which is really awesome it's going to be a very good thing when it comes to doing the stop motion for adventures like a minecraft and it also comes with two new mobs that we didn't get in any other set so uh, that's pretty cool and uh, now let's look at some of the details here so uh, as you can see right here we have some like lava it looks like a bridge that could attach to like maybe the nether fortress or something because that's where these guys are usually found and uh, right here is some soul sand which of course you know um, is the stuff that you use to spawn a wither in and on top of that it looks like we got some nice nether quartz which we haven't gotten before that's pretty awesome some mushrooms some quartz over there some fire and of course right here we have the TNT launcher which was built to destroy the wither boss because he's so powerful and uh, this thing actually works so uh, if you like say press this down really fast this TNT will launch so uh, let's try that in three two one boom oh yeah look it went and uh, I think it wiped out one of the nether forces so uh, that's pretty cool and uh, another play feature of the set is I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be um, able to topple over but I might have actually built that wrong so in order to top topple this over I just like detach this and this can actually just fall over like that so uh, that's a pretty cool play feature besides the launcher and um, yeah that is pretty much the entire set and so um yeah that is pretty much it for this video guys um if you enjoyed it make sure to give this video a big fat thumbs up down below and subscribe and uh, while you're doing that be sure to hit that notification button next to the subscribe button to get notified every single time I upload a new video here to the Angry Birds team channel. And so, uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. This is Nathan from the Angry Birds team. I'll see you later. Goodbye! Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos on the Angry Birds Team channel, then click here to see the latest one. If you want to see my Angry Birds Team Gaming channel videos, then click here to see the latest one. If you want to subscribe to the home channel, then click here. If you want to subscribe to the gaming channel, then click here. That's it for now, but remember to always flock on.